is Tammy Van Hollander and Beth Ritchie. Beth and I in April uh, did a video of all free telehealth resources. And Beth, you made this amazing PowerPoint and now you have updated it. Over the past couple of months, you've turned into a professional with it and gotten really <laughs> great with it. So this is an updated version of free telehealth resources. So Beth, take it away. Thank you, Tammy. And uh, we're doing this because I've gotten a lot of outreach with questions about how to use it and because it is so very different than uh, the one that we first did a video on. So that's why we're doing an update so that everybody can continue to use it if it's helpful for them. And just to reiterate, it's free. You can have it, you can change it, you can send it to your friends. Anything that's helpful, uh, please make it available to whoever you think will be uh, benefited by it. Okay, Tammy. Okay, I just gave you permission. Good, okay. All right, so starting with the little legalities is making sure that this is just for mental health professionals. It's a free resource and to make sure that um, you're using it within your own clinical scope. Let me just play the slideshow. And of course, as always, receiving supervision. This I've added, this is really helpful to kind of set the tone for uh, the telehealth therapy session of going through everything and making sure that you're all set. Do you have the materials you're gonna need? Do you have privacy? Do you have earbuds if you don't have great privacy? And do you have annotate already up and running? Do you have share screen up and running and controls up and running, which Tammy and I will talk about and also demonstrate for you how you can um, share control of your screen. Now, uh, I'm very much into involving parents in the therapy sessions, as are you, Tammy. So uh, we start with talk time and going over something that went well, something that wasn't great, uh, coronavirus check-in. This actually is not as relevant now, believe it or not, even though it's just as much coronavirus, if not more, uh, but everybody's kind of adjusted to the new way of being, especially children, because they're amazing. <laughs> Um, then I usually have uh, them get up and move around because after that, I'd like to do a feelings check-in. And I'm just going through these a little bit quickly because you have access to all this and most of these are not different than the previous one and I wanna spend most of our time on the changes. So this is a great one, especially if they can circle on the screen. And now we do a pick your game. And Tammy, I'm sure you, like me, are very non-directive in a lot of our approaches, but I've had to change a lot in uh, telehealth. And so it's a bit more prescriptive in that they get to choose a game, but then I insinuate myself and in, in my game. So it's kind of like taking turns. And that ensures that the whole session isn't just playing, um, not just playing, but maybe just an Uno. And I don't normally have Uno in my playroom. So that's why I like to incorporate um, me kind of picking an activity that may be more on point therapeutically for them that week. Great, and it's nice to have that back and forth. That's part of the, the relationship, that part of that serve and return, right? That we talk about yes. attachment and all of those pieces. So I think it's great to have a little bit of back and forth. It is, and the kids do appreciate that structure. Mm -hmm. All right, so um, there are lots of different activity types. And one of the reasons that there's such a wide variety is because you wanna make sure that the interventions match the child, just like you would in the playroom. And uh, my favorite thing to do is engage different parts of the brain through different modalities. So it could be on screen and then I'll change to something more movement. And then after movement, I may then to keep them engaged, uh, do an imagination thing. And after that, we may do art. So uh, the key that I have found to engage children for the full hour, uh, no matter how old, because I've got a lot of littles, as do you, Tammy, is by changing the different engagement styles to um, hit all the areas of either artistic or imagination or gross motor, et cetera. Now this is uh, the same. And so the ones that are similar, I'm just gonna kind of skip over from uh, the original version. Kids love that one. They unfortunately do. I play this every <laughs> single week with one kid. They, they do. Yeah. Sorry, guys, if you are also in the same boat. And it's cute also with this one, Beth, with the faces that they'll make the face, 
right? Yeah. They'll, they'll make a different face and to guess which face it is, which is super fun. Like what you had said in terms of acting it out, which they Yeah, love. it is fun. Yeah. And if you want to take it to the next level, you say, well, and what's something that would make you feel that way? And then I give them double points or something. You know, it's pretty arbitrary, the points, but it gets them engaged when mm -hmm. you have competition. This was on the other one. This is new. So there's a lot here, a lot visually here. And this is just so that you guys have access to something that I felt would be helpful. It's um, uh, adapted from the website at the bottom and it's kids would you rather questions. And I have yet to meet a child that doesn't get wrapped up in would you rather. Yeah, I'm not getting off subject, but I have this game choices, which is similar and the kids love it. So we pick yes. the cards and do it. So it's great for telehealth. Yep. So if you even better, if you have the actual physical item, that's so much more fun. All right. This was on the last one. This was on the last one. This was as well. Now this is new. Uh, Stephanie, she goes by Steph Steffers on Facebook. That's not actually her last name. <laughs> her last name is Sherbaum. And uh, she did this great feel better charades where you take turns acting out coping strategies and coping skills and you have the other person guess. The compliment game. I don't remember if this was on the original, but this has been really effective in kids that just don't want to do telehealth that day. Maybe they're sick of Zoom. They've done Zoom school. So um, Tammy, I'm going to do a quick version of this with you. Okay. okay. You're, the kid. You're the kid and the compliments are all about you. So we don't go back and forth with me complimenting. They're all about you. So the first round that will get a point. I add points to everything just because it like all of a sudden they want to do it to get a point. Uh, the first round is say something that you are good at. I'll start. Tammy, you're really good at maintaining and cultivating friendships. Now you have to go. I just got a point. Now for you to get a point, you have to say something that you're good at. I am good at being creative. You are. So then uh, she would get a point. The second round is saying a good inner quality. Uh, the inner quality I'll give to you is you are very loving. Now say a good inner quality about you. I'm kind hearted. Yes, very similar, but you still get a point. So um, that's how you would play the compliment game and you go through the rounds. It will hook a kid that maybe wouldn't normally be in the mood for it. Um, it just, you know, plays off all the greatness and the greatness cards that you have, Tammy, and, and really highlighting the, you know, amazing qualities of that child. And um, this is new. Uh, I'm still working on adding these in. This may be on the most updated version, but a little bit of an all about me activity, especially when you're starting with new kids and uh, drawing in an all about me page again, when you're starting out with new kids to kind of help get to know them and make them feel comfortable about you knowing who they are as a person. This was on the last one. This was on the last one. Okay, so the next type of activities are real games. And these are, this was in the last one, this is in case you have really rough internet and it's just not working out to um, do an online game. This is your backup because you've already got this and you just manipulate the pieces. So Tammy, I'm gonna go ahead and give you mouse control. Okay. Can you accept your mouse control? Did I accept it? I don't no, know. Maybe I didn't. I think you did. Let's see. You did. Whoops. Oh. Okay. That's all right. Pick your color. Okay. I'm going to pick blue. Oh, it's going to the other one. Maybe because it's on play. Oh, yeah. You're right. Thank you. Hey, I you learned that. Practice. practice. Yes. <laughs> we learned it yesterday. So when you do this, it can't be on play. It has to. Okay. I'm going to be blue. Okay. Now um, I'm going to be. You have to highlight it before you move it. And then here's my purple right behind your blue. Tim, I, you have, yes, show us your prop. Your I love that. So you guys can go online or do dice, but I have this fun dice. So I'm gonna, okay, Beth, one. So I guess I will move mm -hmm. my little guy to the orange. Mm -hmm. Okay, throw up. Here we go. You got a two. Okay. So I click on mine and I go one, two, and then we keep playing. Now this is not the same as Candyland, but this is a telehealth, poor internet, the kid is willing to play version. And again, anything we can do to engage them is great. And Tammy, I don't know, of course you have that giant dice in hot pink at your house. I am not surprised in the least. 
That's wonderful. I love that. But this game also is a really good one just for that regulation, right? Of that back and forth and slowing them down when they're feeling really dysregulated, even in the beginning and they're all over the place of just, this is a great way just to regulate them and turn off their thinking brain and just be able to play and, you know, continue with that beautiful relationship that, that you have with the kids. It's true. I love that, Tammy, the slow it down. It really does. Mm -hmm. Then the same thing that you can do with snakes and ladders. Same thing you can do with checkers. Again, remember you have to highlight it and then you move your piece. Highlight it and then you move your piece. And here we are with Connect Four. Go ahead, Tammy, you wanna start? So fun, okay. Okay, you click on it and then- So we do move. it at the bottom or the top? I think- bottom. At the bottom, just like if it were gravity. Yeah, okay. So then I pick my turn. But you gotta let go. You gotta let go. <laughs> this is Fair a good enough. lesson. So everybody Fair has enough. to let go. Tell them about the hands. Okay. So here's what I do. Um, I'm very careful about uh, giving control to kids. I make sure that, oh, there might be some dogs barking in a second. I make sure that uh, we go over the rules because I love giving them that control. They think it's really great, but you have to go over the rules first and let them know that you know it's a privilege. And if I give you the control, then uh, make sure that when I say hands off, that you go like this. And so my kids now, they're trying to put their little hands off so sweet but it's because if not then you're both moving the mouse and you can't maybe right. end session which i learned the hard way or they accidentally click on like another button on your screen so just make sure that you go over and practice and have um a good understanding of rules they'll understand they're doing zoom school they know their teacher does it too so uh i just do hands up I say hands up like hands that up. So, okay. Tammy, hands up. my turn <laughs> and then sometimes they like to just do it like this so that it's just like gravity. All right. Thank you, Tammy. This one was fun. We did this yesterday. Yes. All right. Do you want to tell them about this one? I loved it. So um, Beth, what she had told me to do is to first, um, as a kid, to pick one. So I picked this one and put it over here. And then Beth was to ask me a question to go all around. So you want to take it from there, Beth? Yeah, so I have some kids that I really want to know like how their week was and specifics like maybe their parent will tell me that they got into an argument over zoom school and but the kids refusing to talk about it, uh, which happens a lot and um, because nobody likes questions about things that you didn't do so great at. So in this one, it's a back and forth game. And this, you can make this game about anything. I just happened this week to make it a back and forth game and about questions. So it would be her turn. She'd ask me about like dogs and cats and then my turn. And I'd say, tell me a fight you got into at school this week. And so it, she was much more able to share that. And um, at the end, uh, we both got to earth. Okay. Whoops, hands up, Tammy. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is my game, Family Feelings. I love playing this over telehealth. Uh, I love this game too. I play this all the time with my kids. Thank you. Um, all right, on-screen drawing. These are the same as the last ones. That's a favorite, the roll of landscape in the face. The kids love that. What's great is that you have that giant pick dice. So you can be like, yeah, and I do this a lot with a parent and a child or even siblings. That's great. Oh, that's fun. Right, so this is the same, that's the same, this is the same, this is the same. All right, computer-based games. Um, I believe this would, it was added, this whole section was added following our original uh, YouTube video. So um, here is this amazing online sand tray. It doesn't take the place of real life sand, nothing does, but this is amazing. And this is Dr. Karen Fried. She does this in an online dollhouse and I am eternally grateful to her. And uh, all of these are links and you can just click on the button and uh, either the go button or the picture and it will take you directly to that website. Timmy, you like this one. I do. I just started doing this one because I first couldn't get it. I don't like it as much as the other two that are coming up, but this one, my kids are loving. It's very cool. The sand art. 
Yeah. Tell us about this, this one. one. My kids, it, and this is like their brain break. It's just so mesmerizing, these color swirls. They love it. And now whenever my kids are feeling stressed, they have they have these bookmarked on their computer. So they're their go-tos for their brain breaks, which is awesome. That is really awesome. All right, this was on um, a website where you can color and do a color page. This one, you see, I added your blobs. Oh, yay, the blob opera. These guys are so funny. They're they're really hilarious and cute. And uh, a lot of music teachers are using this uh, link at the top, so the kids are very familiar with it. Yeah, and I've had kids do music, you know, of what is their anxiety or what are how are they feeling today? And as their check-ins, they will play the music um as a way of how they're feeling and how do they want to feel or how do they feel over that situation and do it all musically which is pretty cool i love that idea that is we should do a whole nother video just on that mm -hmm. uh puzzles for kids that enjoy puzzles an online dollhouse again dr karen freed amazing resource thank you to her forever for this resource build a fish tank you've done this tammy this is such a favorite of my kids they love this and they have to keep the fish alive. So we're always trying to figure out what do you need for it, but of building their environment. It reminds me of Eliana Gill's, you know, the, the aquarium, make your aquarium. So I love this one. Uh, make a robot. And this is neat because, uh, you know, they can pick all their own components to it. So there is a, a feeling of mastery similar to that in child-centered play therapy. Yeah. No, it's not the same, but we're not allowed to be in person because of the pandemic. So we are trying the best we can to mimic it in telehealth. You love this one, right? Favorite, favorite, favorite. If you take one away, this is the one. The kids will do it through the whole session and do it with their families. And it is amazing of the stories they can do and any type of background. And I have kids bossing back worry brain and pictures of worry brain and smart brain. And I, I love this one. I think the storyboard is awesome. Definitely a favorite. Great. Next is online board games. This is very popular when the kids have their turn. Uh, checkers, Uno, Connect Four, Mancala, and Jeopardy. Next is screen-based activities. And I really am a fan of this one. So this is uh, my little volcano that I drew a while ago. And you can go ahead and use this and draw right on the screen. And at the bottom, there's little directions. And the dollhouse. Tammy, would you like to decorate the dollhouse? This is brilliant, this one. Yeah. I've been, um, let's see what I can move. You guys will see at the end, I've been working very hard on my virtual playroom. So I've been doing a lot of decorating. But this is awesome. You know what I noticed that there is not in here, Beth, but it's awesome. What? It's a bathroom. Oh, yeah. That's important. Yeah. It is important. Um, you know, especially when we're dealing with lots of kids, you know, with there's a lot. Yeah. So but yeah, this is super fun. This is great. And you guys, you can put a remember yesterday I did a door over here and maybe like asking questions like where would the door go to? Mm -hmm. OK, so this is cool. This is a great one. And um, you can, uh, again, this one needs to not be in the play mode. Whoops, let me move that around. And then this little board over here is in case they want to close up the house. Uh, we work with a lot of kids that maybe have had uh, some trauma or high stress situations in the home. So they may feel more comfortable if they can close it up when they're done. All right, knee magnets. So this is a little free version that I made um, based off of the knee magnet item and you can just do it right on screen with the annotate and you can pick your positive personality traits, negative personality traits, relationship roles, self labels and personal values. My favorite is even though there are the negative personality traits, I know not a huge uh, fan Tammy, but this is really helpful in helping me see what they think of themselves. What do they think? And I'm almost always surprised by what they pick and it's like, wow, you think you're mean? Huh, all right, I'm, I'm gonna save that. We're gonna unpack that soon. All right, the worry tree. Uh, you can write worries. You can do all kinds of things on this. You can pile them in, in leaf piles. You can, um, one week at a time, work on uh, dismantling that worry uh, and all the leaves can move around. 
And uh, this is from a website and you can go ahead and check off uh, if you're working with kids uh, who have anger and you're working on coping skills, this is a nice little activity to help make the coping skills a little more accessible. And videos. Now, I did not put tons of videos on here because there are so many, Tammy, aren't there? Cool. You have your favorites. I have my favorites, but I'm so busy with so many other things. And, you know, we have all these, but just in general, the kids get so used to it. It's like our regular sessions and that we have this as backup and to go through. But, you know, we often don't often even have that agenda. We have agenda for certain things we want to do. And then the, it's amazing that they'll bring these things and they'll make it their own. Yeah. My, I've been using um, the books that are read by the authors. I really love those. Mm. Uh, I think. I did one in the last couple of weeks, like the mad family gets their mads out, I think it's called. Oh. Uh, and that was a big hit. So uh, anything that works for your kid, you know, I put some suggested searches because you want to be very careful on YouTube when you are searching live with a client. So maybe stick to these. I love glitter so much. And I found a virtual glitter jar. Just, I don't know if anyone else in the world likes it, uh, but glitter jars really send me out. So here is a virtual one for kids that don't have it at their house. Very cool. And they even make a virtual fidget spinner. It's mostly silly, but it's, it's also fun. And Tammy, you want to tell us about the finger labyrinths? I'm such a labyrinth fan. I love labyrinths. And labyrinths are like a maze, but the difference from a labyrinth and and a maze is that with a labyrinth, if you trust the process and if you follow your finger all the way around, you'll always get to the center. You're never lost. And it really is a mindfulness activity as if we're taking a breath and we're entering. And then when we get to that middle, it's almost like releasing what we need to let go and then coming back out. So they can do this just even with the um, with the mouse or if they have it at home and just, I don't know if you guys can see my mouse, but just following it. Can you see my mouse? No, no, no try clicking on it. Oh, okay. There you go. Oh, I think it's moving. Now, now your mouse moves. Though. Okay, but once you get to the middle and then taking a breath, dropping everything you need to but when you do the labyrinth it's really important to first go into it and then to pause and then to exit and to go back out and i often use this example it's like going into the world of imagination that we go deep into this world of imagination into the play and then we come out and i feel like the labyrinth is a little bit of that piece that we're going deep into the labyrinth releasing what we need to release and then coming out feeling a little bit more refreshed and alive kind of like what we talked about in the playroom. I love that, Tammy. I was not using it that deeply and now I will. <laughs> it's amazing. I would just like trace it when I was stressed out and it just sends me out. And so now a whole new level. Thank yes. you. Um, and for those therapists that do use CBT, um, I have a lot of colleagues that do a lot of trauma-focused CBT and it's really challenging over telehealth. So here are some videos for specifically for CBT um, for you guys to use if this is your modality, if you find them helpful. And again, here's a little cognitive triangle. If this is your, your thing, um, you can draw right on the screen. And a little, uh, this is the closest I'll get to a worksheet, I think. <laughs> Worksheets are not my thing. But uh, this again, a little more CBT for the older youth and uh, unhelpful thinking styles, cognitive distortions, however you want to call it. Mm -hmm. And um, you can find more interventions at my website at bethrichiecounseling.com. And I have a lot of free resources on the free download page, which is where you can download this yourself. And I wanna make sure to give a shout out and thank you because not all of these links were born from my brain. So Stephanie Sherbon, Tammy Van Hollander, I believe you know her, Alice. <laughs> Give <me> hands up. <laughs> yeah, hands up. Allison Nicole Dukes, Shira Wolf for sharing their free resources. Together we can rock telehealth and just keep sharing and keep uh, collaborating and we can do it. And someday we'll have our sand back. Beth, this is awesome. And it has been such a resource to me and so many. And just all the work that you've put into 
putting this together and to giving it, you know, to so many therapists is so important. I mean, I know that's kind of been our mission through this whole pandemic. And in general, it's like, okay, what can we do? What can we do for our colleagues and together? And everyone's come together and it's amazing. So I am going to put all the links below and you guys will download it and make make it your own and if there's things that you love you know send it to Beth or send it to me and who knows yeah. we, we may continue to be updating it and doing these videos and sharing these resources with you so Beth thank you so much and once again tell everybody again where they can get this download so the download is available for free at bethrichiecounseling.com and there's other free downloads as well. Um, Tammy and I uh, did an amazing one for parents and doing special play time so that uh, you know you can have a session with parents teaching them that and there's other worksheets, um, well, not worksheets, downloads for different materials and you can get everything there. You have your trauma reaction card downloads. I mean, yep. so many things. Beth there's is amazing with all of her products and all of her resources. So Beth, thank you so much. So definitely check out, check out the downloads, download them and let us know what you think. Thank Take you. care, everybody. Play on. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute.